Yes, you're welcome to another segment of Niger Campus TV Bulletin, and I'm your host, Shitsuru Kayas Opoemi, and with me here today is... Moreni Keji Adewumi Nightingale. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. And today, we'll be talking about the trends. Educational trends, um, entertainment trends, political trends, and of course, we will not leave out anything fun for you, so you actually have something good to take home. So, Moreni Keji, you heard about the whole No Bras Day thing yes, this I did. month. I did. What, was, what, what was your view on it? I saw a lot of bras without like, or a lot of boobs without bras. Do you think they were passing the right information? Um, no, really. I wouldn't say that they were passing the right information. I think um, the no bra day was actually abused. Okay. No bra day is a day set aside to remind women, to make them aware of breast cancer and what they should do about it and all of that. But what I just saw was just display of boobs online and all of that. That's not what no bra day actually means. Me, I'm not saying don't display boobs. All I'm saying is while you are doing it, make sure you don't forget the background information. Now, the issue is how many people displayed boobs yesterday even did common breast examination with their own hands? How many people did mammogram? Show them how to do breast examination. Okay, breast examination. Most, um, most of course, you all know that the boobs, has, the boobs have um, some kind of lumps, but that's just natural. Guys would know this too, so don't even pretend like you don't know there's something inside. That's what comes to do, but if you want to know if um, there's something you should be scared about, if you want to know if there is a threat, the most, the most common place to check is the um, outside um, left quadrant of your boobs, right? like here, like this. Then you raise your you raise your arm, then you check here. Then after palpating this, and then you check every other place too to see if there are strange lumps that should not ordinarily be in your boobs. This is your boobs. You've been carrying it for years. You should know. If something strange is, is happening to it, yes, then, this is not just touching yourself for the fun of it. You're actually learning. Yes, to... and then if, if, if you do you have pains in your breast? Is yeah, it bringing out right. bloody you have um, any discharge, discharge or something? Right. So these are things you should be aware of. You should know your it's your body. You should own it. You should you should um you should master your body. <laughs> like I do say, dear woman, it's your vagina on it, and it is your body. Identify your body. It, it, one of my friends yeah, said that. can do it for you to actually like just. Divide the breast into four and touch it from different. How well do you know your body? If they cut your boobs and drop it and cut many other boobs and drop, would you be able to identify your boobs? Okay, and say, yeah, enough, my enough boobs. boobs talk. Enough. Divide your breast into four, touch it in different angles. Watch out for discharge. Watch out for lumps. And make sure that your boobs is just fine and healthy. You don't want it to be discolored. You don't want it to be like swollen weirdly, right? So something also happened. I think UNICEF carried out a survey and found out that we're actually losing out on literacy. I for one, I'm, I, I, I can say I'm illiterate, like according to my age group, but do you think most people, this survey is actually true? Do you yeah, think of course, it is, it is true, we are losing out. And I'm surprised that UNICEF is just finding out now. I mean, you go out, you see children... Well, that's because it's United Nations, so... <laughs> Nigerians are not exactly doing any survey. No offense to our government. Okay, okay. Yeah, but then you go out, you see um, little children, that's, you see children that are supposed to be in school, working, you see children that are supposed to be in school on the street begging for arms. These things are not supposed to be. Yeah, well, it has happened that what I think that we should do now is, what is the solution? What is the way forward? She told me family planning. If you can't take care of the number of kids you are going to have, but that is the, don't give that back is the them, solution. Right? I think, I think family planning should be made compulsory. Let's just make sure that the kids we have compulsory. can raise them. Most importantly for men. This Nigeria, we cannot rely on the government. You have to take care of Because yourself. naturally, 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 a woman has a limit. But men do not have a limit. And so, they impregnate this one, impregnate that one tomorrow. I think that I think um, family planning... Why should say it? Family planning should be made compulsory for men. If we want to curb this, we are bringing out children that we cannot take care of. So, and if you get a vasectomy? If, if there's something that could be temporary, but vasectomy <laughs> is permanent. Of course, if you ask me to, 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 to get a vasectomy or something, I would be scared it's normal. But something temporary... They're I not cutting the stuff up. They're just going inside to like help them sleep in. Vasectomy is permanent. Yes, but they already have a number of kids they want to have. But then anybody would be scared. You know our mentality that anything can happen, anything could happen and all of that. So oh, I may get a vasectomy when you find the number no, of kids. No, no, I, I think vasectomy is too far. But in as much as we have something temporary now, I think men should be responsible enough to do that. Don't give birth to um, the children that you cannot take care of. It's disheartening seeing children and the women on the too, street. Of course. Yes, and women too. Apart from the fact that you can take care of these children, can you take care of yourself? 
true. So I think these are the things that we should check. I mean, these things are what give um, our country bad name outside. Talking and, about taking care of yourself, Oye Putus has actually decided that marriage is not the ultimate goal for anybody. Actually, male or female, you should not just rely that uh, marriage would be like the thing you actually look up to. You don't think marriage is the ultimate because people think that when you get married, like that's it for the rest of your life. Like you have finally reached the final point in life where you just have to go back down. You get. I yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. But I'm just trying to figure out. I'm just trying to figure out why in the first place, why should marriage be the ultimate goal? And how is marriage the ultimate goal? Because Well, coming together with a man, a lot of people tend to depend on them. Like, oh, so my responsibility has been taken care of now by a man. I can just sit back and relax. Sorry, but all of these things I would always say um have their roots in patriarchy. This is what we call hypergamy. Okay. Hypergamy is a situation whereby a woman um, um, feels that um, a, a man okay. who is above her financially, okay. in age, okay. in wisdom, education, and all of that should be the person she should be attracted to. If I ask you, can you date someone you're older than? Can you date a guy you're older than? I am actually a free-minded person. I can date somebody I'm older than. I can date somebody I'm rich. I, I tell you that you are one in one thousand. You and are also like that. So that that makes us two. okay. Two two in one thousand, right? I asked I asked a girl, my my classmate. I was like, hey. Can you date someone that can, if, if you start working, can you date a student? Most people and then she dance. said, Are you stupid? That was what she asked me. Are you stupid? How would you ask me if I can date a student? She said, The person you're dating now is he a student or he works? He works, of course. Well, These are the people that said that they can. So I think that this thing, that's why I, I still told someone to do that. I think humanity should be should be should be included in the curriculum that we give our little kids. Should start right from time. Yes, we should all. Under humanity, we also have feminism. I said it. She's no, a feminist. Yes, I'm a feminist, and, I, and I wear, I'm a feminist with a capital letter F, with no apologies. No, no, and I wear it like a badge of honor. Yes, we are not trying to attack you. When but we say I this think, thing. yeah, I think, I think that feminism can actually help to curb all of these things. Yes, talking about feminism on another episode. Azikuna has a running mate. I think you know who that yes, is. Yes, yes, yes. Peter Obi of an Do you know anything about Peter Obi? Um, from what I can actually deduce from the Easterners, I think that he's a good um, person, you know, he was a good governor or something and his people really like him. But something I, think, up, I, I Yeah 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 I heard I think we have a problem in this country. We are always so unfortunate to our choices of president. What do you mean unfortunate? Yes, because that's the best for it. I mean why do we have to have better vice presidents that, than <gasps> Some people are a really big fan of Atiku. You cannot say that on camera. It's already there, but I'm just saying. Well, I, I'm not saying Atiku is not a good person. There are other presidential no, 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 I'm not saying that Atiku is not a good person. Don't I, get me wrong. No, 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 of course. I'm no. not saying he's you not think a good Peter person. Will be but then I Peter. think that I am not, I am not, um, I am not a fan of his tenure as vice president of the country. Do you know and I think, Peter And I think Peter will be, ah, oh, excuse me, I was, okay, I think I was in secondary school when, um. You would know so much. So, you were collecting your parents' salary. <laughs> But then the, the issue is that I think that Peter Obi is actually better than um, Atiku. And Atiku would be getting a lot of votes from the Easterners because of Peter Obi. No, he think actually about made... this way. Atiku can actually board walls for the Avengers. Peter Obi cannot afford us. We are too rich Avengers. We need somebody that can actually take care of us. Peter Obi is a good person. That's why he's staying broke. Now, for now, eh, we are broke. Nigerians don't. Okay, we need good people with cash on hand. I just hope. I just feel because we had high hopes on Nasiba Anjo too. I hope on so, others. They are still Philadelphia is still running for president. Davis is still running for there are so many other people running for president, you guys. That is why you should get your TV and find out I have my TV. Yes, that is all for today's segment of Niger Campus TV Bulletin. Of course, we have the Oracle of Night here, yeah, not disappointing. I am still your host shit here. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. Bye. Bye bye. Say bye bye.